Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 19 of Civilization 6 as Kublai Khan. And in the last video we declared war on uh, Bolivar because he's been forward settling me with his cities. Uh, we also uh, were one point away, one diplomatic victory point away from a win and all of the AI voted against us which is a little bit of a pain. The good thing is for us is because they voted with all of their diplomatic, vic uh, their diplomatic favour and they won... Um, they lose that diplomatic favour. Because I didn't win, I get all my diplomatic favour back. So I've got that to use again. So we're just going to basically finish up with some wars. You've got three uses, but... I guess, yeah, you could be used in there. So let's get you down. I'm not just going to teleport you. You can just walk down. That'll be fine. Okay, so all of these ships can just stay here for the time being. I think that's absolutely fine. I mean, yeah, it'd be a stalemate to attack with the destroyers, so I'm, I'm not going to bother doing that. I could put them together and form a, a, a fleet, a navy. Could do that with the missile cruisers. I might actually do it with the destroyers. I only need, I only need one destroyer just so I've got a, a melee unit. So we could just go ahead and let me do that the other way round. Merge those two together. There we go. Two era score. Thank you very much. Now, I could merge these guys together, but I think I'll probably do slightly more damage taking individual shots with them at this point. Um, do I have an artillery anywhere? Grade you to a machine gun. I'd like an artillery. Um, you get a promotion... Uh, let's allow you to siphon funds. So yeah, we actually sabotage Gandhi's production. Nice work. Let's get the airport over here. I guess we might. It's worthwhile getting the sewer. So we are getting quite close to a point of a um, scientific victory. It's probably more likely than a diplomatic victory. Do you got to be careful here? They do have a battleship. I hadn't noticed him there. Um. We do some serious damage to him with the submarine. So let's just go ahead and take that shot. Um, yeah. He's, he's retreating. Excellent. More declarations of war from city-states. Phillips made peace with Shaka. We've lost a suzerain status as well somewhere. Somewhere's out of power. So lots of stuff going on. You get a promotion... I'd prefer to like fire every shot, but then you just you're wasting um, wasting XP. Not in oh that battleship's down there. Um, I should again. I've taken the admiral with the submarine, but that's not a terrible thing. Uh, okay, so the capital you can let's get an aerodrome, mostly for defensive purposes. Uh, we lost a suzerain status in Cardiff. Oh, I need eight. So we've got that back. Yeah, I think I'm happy to keep all of that there for now. Um, let's get that flood barrier there, finally. Now, I could attack with you, but I think we'll just leave you here. What do we do with you? I guess we could get a solar farm. Yep, you're just going to go to sleep until I need you. You are going to try and siphon funds now. You've got a 90% chance of it happening. Not that I'm short of gold. But if there's some sort of emergency, I can just basically build whatever I need. Gandhi is building spaceports here. So we might want to be able to start sab sabotaging that at some point soon. But we're going to pop you in there. Spain doesn't like me much. I don't like Spain either. What's going on with the world climate? Atomic era ends in six if turns. There's any work in the afterlife. There's cybernetics done. So yeah, we are getting a little bit of climate change now. So sea level's going to start rising. Um, mostly me with the, the CO2 contribution. Mostly me, but not completely me. I mean, China's having a good old crack at it there. Um, mostly from coal. 
So, right, let's have a look at the technology tree. So, launch Exoplanet Expedition. Uh, so, we definitely want to get smart materials next. Uh, that will then show us what is here. So, we've got Exo Exoplanet Expedition. And then, it depends whether the next tech's going to be there or there. So, we'll have to see what happens once that's done. Could build a spaceport here, but again, you know, the number of things we've got for production isn't going to make a huge deal of differences. So let's go for campus research grants, just try and speed our tech along a little bit. It does seem to be the option that makes the most sense right now. Flood barriers will get where we can because they are going to be needed. Uh, so, another city. They're all pretty decent at the moment. Nowhere really has housing issues. So, we'll just pop you in this one. Just to be done with you. Okay, let's go back to this combat. Still haven't got the city fences down completely yet, so we'll wait. Don't know where that battleship's gone. So let's come back with the submarine. Oh, there it is. <laughs> don't know where it's gone. It's right there. Uh, I don't have any planes over here, do I? Guess that doesn't really matter. If we're not going to get the diplomatic victory, I mean, I could just go and wipe Bolivar out completely. He has been a complete pain in the hoop the entire game. So, it's not a bad idea. Gandhi's declared war on Shaka. Uh, now we've lost um, Sun Wukong, which is fine. Uh, let's get the hangar in the capital. Uh, back to business here. Looks like that battleship's moved off. Oh, he's moving around there. Can't really reach him. Can't really reach him at the moment, so we'll just wait. So, let's go and do some damage here. Thank you very much for the free city. Now, why does that say it's going to flip? Belongs to Mongolia. Rebellion in eight turns. Really? Where, where, where is it getting its pressure from? Uh, you'd think now that this is going to start getting some pressure, but let's repair your monument. Because we're not finished yet, Simon. We're coming for you. I know his name's Simon, but I'm just going to keep calling him Simon. Um, yeah, go away, Gandhi. Uh, your opinion means naught to me anymore. Uh, we've managed to ferment and rest again. Uh, see, it's not making any difference. Back to full loyalty in full turns. I mean, why isn't this getting... Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to click on. Why isn't this getting a massive ton of... Pr it's getting pressure from China. Why isn't it getting, like, pressure from me? It's, it's the weirdest thing. Well, we can deal with that, can't we? Um, we can also deal with that. More era score and free gold. Uh, free gold is the best type of gold, I think you'll find. I'm sorry it had to come to this, Simon. Now then, um, this one, we can, we can damage it from the water, but we will need to take it by land, which is fine. Uh, machine gun is a ranged unit. Um, we'll, we'll upgrade this mechanised infantry. And we'll, we'll get down there and take him out. Uh, power here is fine. Amenities, everything else seems alright. Could get a biosphere, which we don't need. Don't really need anything at this point. All tiles in your city gain plus two appeal. 16 turns. Again, though, we've got to get rid of good tiles to do it. So, keep on with the campaign research grants. We can build that somewhere else. You heal up. Um, 
I'll move you somewhere else, but we'll just get you neutralizing the governor. If you pull it off before we take the city, you might end up with a promotion, so... Gandhi's denouncing me. Not really all that bothered, if I'm honest. Choose production. Let's get those defenses repaired. Um, what can we get there? A ski resort. I've never built a ski resort, actually. Let's get one. There we go. My first ever ski resort in civilization, I think. I don't think I've built one before. Uh, oh, can't grab that. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, you just sit there. And we will continue with the bombardment. Um, can the submarine hit the city? Uh, it's got a range of two. Yes, the submarine can hit the city as well. It doesn't do a lot of damage. The submarine may get hit, but that's all right. Just any bit of extra damage that'll help. I'm going to leave the... Um, destroyer in there for now just so that there's a unit in the city yeah he shot at the submarine which is kind of what i expected begin voting oh we are the target of a military emergency um i'm i'm gonna vote against it obviously uh, i'm not gonna put loads of points into it because i don't care if everyone wants to declare war on me at this stage let them go for it and it failed anyway um Obviously, Bolivar voted for it. Um, Philip vote. Uh, Philip voted for it as well. Oddly enough, Gandhi voted against it. Yet Gandhi has denounced me. I guess he's just naturally a pacifist. Uh, China abstained. Uh, Shaka abst abstained. So don't have to worry about that anymore. Friendship expired. See, stay friendly with Shaka. Good stuff. Um, one turn until this is done. So if I do something, it wants to be something that will only take a turn. Let's grab another builder. Simply never have too many builders. I just keep checking all of these wonders that we can't build. And th it must be this map, because the AI is struggling to build them as well. You could build the Eiffel Tower. Again, you'd have to destroy a pretty decent yield tile to do it. Let's get an aircraft carrier. I don't need one, but I can build one. <laughs> so why not? Uh, sure, let's get a lumber mill there. Right, let's go and see what damage we can do over here. Um, oh, I can't take it on this turn. I would have been able to if I'd have moved that destroyer out before. Uh, let's go and just attack it with the submarine. It still has some defences, oddly enough, so um, the, the fortification might still do some damage to the sub. But I think generally we'll be okay. Yes, it fired at the sub. What a big surprise. And got some of its health back. The There's smart the materials done. The and Just rapid deployment. So these have got... Well, at least one of these has got an upgrade. You're going to take the shot there. You're going to grab the city. And we will keep it. Um, you get an upgrade. So let's go ahead and give that to you. Submarine is going to go over here and uh, pillage your trade route. Cheers. And then we'll try and... Well, I don't think you're in danger right now. Does that have a higher upgrade? No, mechanised infantry's top. Our spy flees the city. As expected. So, yes. Um, launch laser... Uh, Lagrange laser, laser station and build terrestrial laser station. So we want to go into that, which means we've got to go predictive systems first. So that is fine. Choose a new civic. We're not too bothered about getting the governor titles now. Um, so let's just go for environmentalism. Choose a production. So now we can actually work on the Exoplanet Expedition. That will take 14 turns. 
So it is quite a quite a long venture. And what are you going to work on here? Your growth is pretty slow. Could we do anything to help with that? No particular buildings. Nothing that would give us any additional... Eh, plus one food, one production, one culture in all tundra tiles where we don't have tundra. I mean, we could potentially build... A neighbourhood somewhere. Again, any neighbourhood's going to be destroying a relatively useful tile. But let's go and put one in. We're not using all of these yields. Um... Plus 100% production towards space race projects. That couldn't have come at a better time. So we can literally just go and pop you straight away. Um, what do we want to do? We could get more spies. I guess I'm just going to keep going with research grants for now. You've probably got lots of buildings you can build. Let's get a flood barrier, because one is needed. Now, it says you're going to flip. And that's probably because of China. Not overly concerned by it, I'll be honest. Uh, spy. So let's just have a look and see uh, in terms of science. Uh, China is kind of next in terms of tech. He's my ally, though. So I think we'll just keep spying on Gandhi. Gandhi's actually building quite a few of these things, so... Um, Mumbai's got the next biggest population, from what I can see. So go and send him over there. Just try and disrupt rocketry. That's the plan here. We have entered the information era. And we were also entered into a golden age. Uh, a, a heroic age, actually. Which is why everything is all bright and shiny and golden. Everything is, like, overly saturated now. It's weird. Um, so, what are these is most useful? Gain a giant death robot in your capital. Receive three uranium per turn. Yes, please. Um... Spies take no time to establish their presence. Time to complete offensive missions reduced by 25%. Yes. We don't need these smart materials. Software missions are unlocked. Aluminium accumulates more. Yeah, we're not bothered about governors and tourism, so let's take three. So this is the great thing about a golden age. You go from a, go from a dark age straight into a golden age, you get a heroic age, and you can pick three things. Really nice. Uh, victory belongs to the most persevering. I don't know if that Steam achievement actually shows up on the recording. I think it does, so I've just got another Steam achievement there. Uh, choose a production. Still got power. Could build more spies. Build a dice product. Let's just keep the science going. So this is our new city. Repair that granary. This one, uh, be built full loyalty and full turns. Look how futuristic everything is. Fantastic. Um, so what I'm going to do now, um, out of spite, is go and wail on Bolivar's capital. Um, he's got another settler down there, which I'm going to say is optimistic. This will take a long time to do any damage. I do have a nuke there. Do you know what I also have? A giant death robot. Let's go and put him to use. Let's heal you up. You're next, China, if you keep forward settling. Yeah, he wants to make peace now. I'm going to refuse. Ah, China's going to... Yep, China's going to rebel. I thought that would happen if I took both cities. So I'm fine with that. Uh, yep, we'll keep counter-spying. Uh, we've also siphoned gold from Delhi. Uh, so you've got a promotion. The plus one range could be useful. Let's give you some protection from air attacks. It's going to take a long time to, to do any real damage here. Um... 
Giant death robots are incredibly strong. Because they have ranged attacks as well as melee attacks. They're, they're the, uh, they're, I think actually there might be another unit in the game that can do ranged and melee. But I mean it just makes them such a strong, strong unit. Uh, promotion on our spy. It doesn't really matter for what I'm using him for, I'll be honest. Uh, you just stay there. Can Well, yeah, we can't take the um, city with you anyway. Let's go and get that. So six turns and planet expedition's done. So he's firing at my giant death robot, but that's it's going to do nothing. And do absolutely nothing. So we'll take some more shots. Yeah, we'll soon have his defenses down. I was gonna, I, I was entertaining the idea of a um, a diplomatic victory, but now I'm at the point where I'm like, do you know what? I do not care. I think we need to build a neighbourhood because we need to build some of the food buildings. Uh, so if we do this, we'll end up losing some production here, which I don't really want to do. Um, one, two, three. Why don't we have this tile? There's some there's something weird going on with this tile. Um, owned by a different city, apparently. I don't know what city it was owned by. Panama? One, two, three. I guess that was owned by Panama. Right, okay, that'll make more sense now. So we build a neighbourhood up here. It's only a plus three, but I'm not too bothered about the housing. It's more about the food production uh, that I want to do there. Um... We could get a harbour down here, actually. That one wouldn't be the most useful. Even though it would be worth quite a bit. So let's build one there. And, yeah, kind of running out of stuff for this builder to do now. I guess we could go and get another lumber yard. Um... There's a governor in there. We could try and neutralise him just for the fun of things. Disrupt rocketry. Want to keep trying to do that. But that's the end of the turn. And looking at the time, it's probably a good point to end the video. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Civilization 6. And I hope you're enjoying the entire series. If you have, please do consider leaving a like on the video. If not, then please consider leaving a dislike. But thanks a lot for watching all the way through to the end. I will see you next time. And until then, goodbye for now.